Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview and Domestic Economic Data Roadmap for the week beginning Monday, the 22nd of January 2018, ending Friday the 26th, almost through January already. We've got a straightforward trading week ahead after a short week behind us. Options expiration is done. We have a looming potential government shutdown over the weekend. That can obviously impact everything else that goes on here, but for now, it feels like everybody thinks it's all going to work out. We'll see. Here's the ES front month futures contract, the daily chart of the broad market. Futures form closed at new highs on Friday, shaking off that 13 sell signal from seven days ago. Here's the crude oil. Let's go through the major indices, then we'll look at the intra-week action. Then we'll look at the uh, data coming out this week and talk about what's to go. Here's the uh, crude oil down 58 cents to 63.37 on Friday, but still very near all-time highs for the last year and a half. Gold up a buck. That's not a thing. Uh, S&P Cash closes up 12.27. NDX was up 22.95. Both of them at new highs. Sox up 147. Remember that 13 sell signal, which obviously worked, and then we came back up from there. But that's now shaken off. Biotech's got a cut for a potential breakout. As go banks and biotech, so goes the market. We shall see. The VIX was higher, almost got to 13 this week, uh, but down 95 cents on Friday at 11.27. The trend closes at 1.10. Keeps that 10-day moving average at 0.88. Need some lower readings to push it back under 0.85, which is that sell signal. This is interesting. This was options expiration Friday. So you had a four-day week. You always get extra volume on options expiration. And here we are, the lightest volume of the week, 1.9 billion shares on the NASDAQ for options expiration. That's weird. Uh, NASDAQ advanced decline ratio 11 plus 1144. On the New York plus 951, Google gains $7.53 to a new closing high. Apple loses 80 cents. Amazon up a buck 26. Netflix up 13 cents. Tesla up $5.45. Not new highs, but new highs for the last couple of months. TLT, the 20 year bond ETF, is down 65 cents. And Goldman Sachs gains $5.15. Uh, let's take a look at the intra week action. So we'll switch this to 10 minute candles. That's monthly. That won't help us. How about 10-minute candles? So there it is. Uh, remember, there was a holiday. So you got a little gap up from Friday to, to Tuesday. And pushed higher for about 10 minutes, then or for about 20 minutes, then rolled over, filled the gap, went lower. We were actually down for the week. Tuesday was exciting. Made it look like some stuff was going to happen, some concerns about the government shutdown. Wednesday, the for options unraveling, it was a boring start. We gapped up, came back a bit, and then in the afternoon rallied. So that's your options unravel. Then Thursday, not much, and we're flat. Friday, a little gap up that basically, yeah, it did fill. And then, again, flat. We almost have a 13. Let me see if I go to, yeah, I got 13 sell signal right at the close on Friday. So Thursday and Friday were dead once the options unraveled. Tuesday made the week start out exciting, and then nothing happened. Here's the NQs. Doesn't look much different. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So with that said, let me switch this back to fives for the next report, and we'll look at the data that's coming out this week, at least here in the U.S., we've got uh, Richmond Manufacturing Index. This is on Tuesday. There's no data on Monday, even though the markets are open. Housing Price Index, Wednesday at 9 a.m. Flash Manufacturing and Services PMI data at 9.45. Existing home sales at 10. Crude oil inventories at 10.30. On Thursday, we've got uh, the weekly unemployment claims. We've got the goods trade balance. We've got the preliminary wholesale inventories. New home sales at 10. CB Leading Index at 10. Natty Gas at 10.30. On Friday, the first look, this is the big one, the advanced GDP number for the fourth quarter and durable goods. And that is it. So not a ton, but the stuff to focus on is uh, certainly that uh, advanced GDP number on Friday. That's always a big deal when it happens. The other thing that matters here is whether we have a government shutdown or not on Monday morning with no with options just expired. That's a big deal, but we won't know until we get there. So that's pretty much going to uh, you know, write off whatever happens in terms of the technicals here. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trading week.